Hello everyone, I am going to make a presentation on safety instrumented system, PFD probability of failure and demand formulas. The video is being taken on behalf of instrumentationtools.com and automationcommunity.com. Kindly watch and subscribe. Why SIS probability of failure and demand is needed? Critical instrumented system prevent hazardous events of situations in which people could be injured or worse and the environment could be polluted. So, this is the main reason. So, basically the safety instrumented systems are in place in the process industry to safeguard the personal and equipment. So, the maintenance of such systems should be taken on a high priority. The standards IEC 61511 to of 2017 and IEC 61508 2010 define the criteria for safety instrumented functions. These two standards, International Electrotechnical Commission standards 61511 and 61508, dictate the criteria for safety instrumented function. A SIF safety instrument function shall be fit for purpose preventing the identified hazard. The integrity level of a SIF defined as SIL 1 2 3 or 4 provide risk reduction. A SIF may be compromised by systematic failures and random hardware failures. SIF functionality may get worsened by means of any systematic failure or random failures. First PFD tool developed for use in the chemical company was based upon a standard industry method using IEC 61508. IEC 61508 defined the standards at first for the calculating the PFD, probability of failure and demand. Okay, how PFD is calculated? PFD is basically calculated using a method as per IEC 61508 standard. Calculated PFD takes into account the architecture of the SIS, safety instrumented function architecture like 1 out of 1, 1 out of 2D, 1 out of 2, 2 out of 3, etc. So, the estimated dangerous failure rate of each subsystem, a sensor, common cost, diagnostic coverage, proof test intervals, and the repair times. So, the calculated PFD is taking into account all these parameters common cost, diagnostic coverage, proof test intervals, and repair times of the sensors, logic solvers, and final element components. Okay, approach for probability failure and demand. In the process industry sector, the demand rate is often less frequent than once per year. When the plants are running safely, the demand is very less, unless otherwise there is a serious concern of any hazardous event. So, the following PFD values are required. For the SIL 1, the PFD average should be less than 0.1. 10 per minus 1 is 0.1. For SIL 2, it should be less than 0.01. SIL 3 is PFD averages less than 10 power minus 3. SIL 4 uh, PFD averages less than 10 power minus 4. So, IEC 61511 provides the following information. Several modeling approaches are available and the most appropriate approach is a matter for the analyst and can depend on the circumstances. So, there are different approaches. So, the designer and safety expert need to take the appropriate one, which is based on the circumstances as well. Approach for probability failure and demand. The available tools, there are many tools as mentioned before, and uh, there are many tools and methods. So, these are all the different tools cost consequence analysis, reliability black diagrams, fault tree analysis, Marco models. Petri Nets model, etc. These are the different tools available for calculating the probability of failure and demand. So, people who are going into the advanced training of the safety instrumented system can understand few of the modules, tools available. Factors to be considered for PFD average. What are the different factors that affect the PFD average? Configuration of the SIS, like 1 out of 1, 1 out of 2D, etc. Estimated rate of failure of each subsystem, sensors, logic solvers, and final elements includes detected and undetected failure. So, some failures 
or detector some failures goes undetected failure of an electronic card or electronic component in a sense in a final cut element this is an undetected failure a spurious trip causing by any mechanical plunger lock inside the solenoid wall or inside the pellet lay it is an undetected failure this cannot be detected up front susceptibility of sis to common cause failures diagnostic coverage proof test intervals environmental and specific application efforts which may have an impact on the pfd average repair times like mean time to restoration and mode of shift operation in which mode it is operating like low demand mode or nest demand mode etc estimate of dangerous failure rates safe failure function this is another uh, terminology to calculate the dangerous failure rates so these are the different uh, factors the test we considered for working out the pfd okay below are the formulas for different configurations so this is again based on the type of configuration one out of one one out of two one out of three two out of three etc so you guys can go through these formulas in by themselves so i'm not going to elaborate everything in detail these are the different configurations possible based on which the different pfd average formulas are being given so pfd average is the average probability of failure on demand here lambda du dangerous undetected failure rate of the item n and lambda du minimum this is smallest of all dangerous undetected failures t is a test period beta is a common cause factor so these are the different uh, formulas available to calculate the pfd based on the type of configuration of the sensors and elements okay one out of two example so 100002 uh, refers to one out of two so if either of this is for uh, for the sensor we are going to give a small explanation if either of the sensor is at its strip condition or logic this is the or logic for example we are talking about a level sensor so level sensor 1 is high or level sensor 2 is high this is the combination for one out of two two out of three supposing there are three sensors on the safety instrumented system so two out of each two sensors need to go for tripping condition or failure so if any two sensor is at its strip position trip condition or logic the level sensor 1 is high or level sensor 2 is high or 2 or 3 is high or 3 or 1 is high these are the different combinations possible so this is the 2 out of 3 voting so here pfd as a sensor is a total of configuration mean time to fail diagnostic coverage proof test interval etc so factors affecting pfd average there are several sophisticated pfd calculation software the pfd average used to be calculated very precisely however the results depend on common cause beta factor as we know there are multiple sensors available on a same output possibility of sensor getting failure is quite high so that's why it is always advisable to have different sensors or different technology different sensors means different sensors with individual tappings for a differential pressure or pressure measurements or different technology altogether so proof test coverage and lifetime a frequently used basis to determine beta factors is the informative annex d of iec 61508-6 by filling in scores a beta factor will be determined beta factor means the common cause factor common cause failure so beta is 5% is a standard across the industry accordingly to a thorough performed study by safety experts the actual common cause factor is in between 10 to 15 percentage even though for the calculation purpose it is given as 5 percentage on the practicality on the actual conditions it may go as high as 10 to 15 percentage thank you